assalamu alaikum guys in this practical video i will show you the wrong design of plinth beam construction assalamu alaikum guys in this plinth beam construction you can see everything is wrong they didn't follow any structural drawing so they did a lot of mistakes in the construction of this plinth beam so what is the correct way also i will guide you for correct way of this plinth beam construction so let's get start guys you can see they placed the lapping at the distance of l by 4 and tension zone so this is one of the big mistake what is the correct way i will guide you after this you can see this is the junction or end of the beam look here they placed four steel rods in upper portion which is compression and bottom portion you can see which is tension they use two steel rods this is the junction between beam and column you can't see any development length development length is very important you can see the stirrups spacing is maximum hooks are bent on 90 degree hooks length is not sufficient everything is wrong here in the construction of this plinth beam for correct way, I will guide you that what is the correct way of plinth beam construction. This is one of the mega project, but they didn't follow any rules regulation of steel structural drawing. They don't know about the proper way of construction. Guys, you can see this is the steel reinforcement. They don't know what is development length, where we can place the development length, what is the length of development length. This is the other junction. Spacing is here about 11 to 12 inches between stirrups. First see this column. Then I will guide you for correct way. You can see the plinth beam also RCC column, the junction between beam and column, stirrups, details, longitudinal bars and bottom and upper portion. This is the other junction. Size of beam is 12 by 18 inches a ring size is 9 by 15 inches this plinth beam is designed for four-story commercial building but unfortunately everything is wrong here in this construction what is the proper place for the lapping length also i will guide you as you uh, as you can see in this video they uh, at the uh, at the starting they placed the lapping at the distance of l by 4 and bottom portion so where is the best place for upper portion and lower portion of the plinth beam you can see Now let me show you the correct way of plinth beam. Now I will guide you for correct and wrong way of steel reinforcement in the construction of plinth beam. So let's get started guys. As you can see guys this is correct way and this is a wrong way. First of all we have about lapping length. Remember guys in compression zone as you can see this is the section of beam. So this is the upper portion which is compression zone and this is the bottom portion which is tension zone so this is tension and this is compression zone now guys if you need to provide the lapping so the lapping length you can provide in because this is long section so at the middle of the plinth beam that's why because this is compression zone so you can provide the lapping at this place but you can't provide at the bottom section or in tension zone that's why because now you can see here this is the wrong way so here we have the lapping at this place we where you can see this is L by 4 distance. 
length divided by 4 where we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment we are providing here extra steel rods are bent up bar to resist negative bending moment so instead of crank bar or bent up bar you are not able to provide the lapping so you will face more problems in the future in the construction of this plinth beam as you can see here this is the support and this is the other support support means these are columns so here we have negative bending moment same like this here we have positive bending moment here we have negative bending moment so don't provide the lapping length at this place so this is the wrong way of lapping length okay so this is very important but the correct ways provide the lapping at the mid of the plinth beam but don't provide in tension zone just in compression zone you are able to provide next guys you can see again for lapping length so the lapping length at the bottom section where this is tension so you can provide the lapping length at the distance of l by 5 l means the total length between two columns okay suppose this is column and this is column so this is length uh, l means span okay so if the span is anything so divide the span uh, by 5 so at the distance of l by 5 you are able to provide the lapping length but don't provide the lapping l by 4 distance as i told you here we have negative bending moment also at this side you cannot provide the lapping length so this is the correct way to provide the lapping at the bottom portion and this is the correct way to provide the lapping at upper portion at the middle but not at the distance of l by 4 now what is the wrong way as i told you here this is the correct way the, uh, here this is the wrong way that we have l by 4 at this place so here we have negative bending moment so don't provide lapping here and don't provide lapping at the middle at the mid mid mean l by 2 distance l by 2 so don't provide here because here we have positive bending moment so if you provide the lapping so it will provide cracks in the construction of beam maybe after five years six years but you will see the cracks in future in the construction of plant beam or floor beam so this is very important next guys we have development length so what is development length as i uh, already show you uh, in the practical video what is development length so guys you can see here this is development length development length uh, make a good bond between steel and concrete how it can provide the good bond between steel and concrete you can see guys this is uh, these are steel reinforcements so this is plinth beam okay so this is plinth beam and these are steel reinforcement the red colors so this longitudinal bars are going the downward side the, this is going to the upward side and the upward side steel reinforcement or compression zone steel reinforcement is going to the downward side so this is called development length so it make a good bond between steel and concrete so therefore guys remember the development length should not be less than 12 inches okay this is very important but this is from reference of aci and is code 456 2000 okay now guys what is the wrong way as you can see if we provide the steel reinforcement suppose this is concrete and this is concrete which is about 25 to 40 mm so this is concrete cover okay so now you can see the steel reinforcement so the steel reinforcement if you don't provide the development length same like this so this is the wrong way so don't do same like this if you are working on construction site so these are the technical terms so you should remember about these so if you don't know about the development length so you will face more problems in the future because this is the rules regulation of steel structural drawing if you don't provide the development length it mean it means that it cannot make a good bond between steel and concrete so these are some important points which i've discussed about the development length and lapping length now come to the main point which is about stirrups remember guys you can see this is concrete cover and inside this this is steel reinforcement suppose these are concrete covers okay which is about from 25 to 40 mm so here guys provide the hooks okay hooks are very important and the length of the hook should not be less than three inches are from you can get this from 90 where it is die of steel rod and the stirrup die should not be less than six mm this is for residential building for commercial building it should not be less than 8 mm okay now come to the spacing so the spacing should not be uh, more than so from 150 to 200 mm you can keep the spacings uh, of stirrups okay so this is also important but now let me guide you for one thing more that is about spacing of stirrups as i told you before these are columns supporting and this is the length between two columns as you can see we have l by 4 here l by 4 l by 4 means length divided by 4 so here this is l by 4 here we have this is l by 4 so now guys here we have negative bending moment to resist negative bending moment the stirrup should be provided closely let me 
place the stirrups as you can see these are stirrups you can say ring okay so the spacing should be closely compared to its mid that's why because here we don't have negative bending moment so therefore you can increase the spacing how for example this is l by 4 so at the distance of l by 4 you can keep about 6 inches c slash c center to center after l by 4 you can increase it to the 7 to 8 inches so this is very important so be careful especially in the spacing of stirrups hope this short video can help you thanks for watching see you in next video Goodbye.